Okay, back where uh, back where I was just now before I done that stupid thing and ended up dying. Um, managed to get secret one again, no problem. Um, just choosing the guns, ready. But I'll, this time I'll do the I'll do the glitch where you walk onto it and walk off and you don't take any damage. When you drop, and in fact it, you drop before that does. Now, what it's pointing at, the guns, is uh, the the ski on, I believe. So if I save here now, over at game, yes. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look, little run around, and then I'm gonna entertain myself. And how am I going to entertain myself? By chucking her to a fucking death. Da, 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 da. Not once, but more than once. Puppy power! Get in! Oh yeah! Quite satisfied now, quite happy with that. So, guns out. Shooty, 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 shooty. Create a bit of an explosion, which opens a door. And if I remember rightly, we go around the corner. Oh no, jumpy dog things. And what's this? That door from earlier. So, if I go down here, where do we get to? Oh, nowhere. It was quite simply a way of releasing more beasts into that room there, was it? Shit, okay. I thought it was... No, it wasn't. It wouldn't be a secret, would it? Come on, beasties, explode. Come on. I know I could just escape, but uh, I don't know. Just feel like killing stuff now. Jump, you freak. Did it exploded? Well, I guess it did. Hmm, right then.
Actually, let's have a look up here just in case there's anything I left or missed out on. secret items just magically appeared. Or ammunition for uh, for weapons that weren't actually around the time of Atlantis. Oh no. Those bloody shooty shooty things. Right, just remember to do your medipacks. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, fucking hell. Restart, restart, come on. I chuck it off again. Shooty, shooty, rolly, rolly. I'll tell you what I'll do, actually. Fuck these things. I'll just go down here. Save my ammo for things I don't get a chance to run away from. Okay, now then. Hmm. A room full of spikes <laughs> and lava and swinging things. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, this makes for a great exit out of the building, does it not? Oh, f oh, shitting fuck. Shitting fuck balls. Right, okay. Restart level. I'm sorry, but no, you were going to share in my fucking frustration. I've already watched this bit. Tough shit. Oh, pissing fuck balls. Jesus, right. Come on, we can fucking do this. We can do this, come on. do this. I've got the many pack, didn't I?
Right. Okay. Hang on. Right. There is only one fucking ball thing up there, is there? Yes. So as long as I go down here. Now then, the only other thing, making sure I don't die. Ho ho ho, right. Many pack. Now then. Let's walk ever so slowly. This is not a speed run. It's not a fucking walkthrough. It's not a time challenge. It's me slowing the fuck down. Right. Now then. If, for some reason, you have been tuning in from the very beginning, um, you'll see what I've been talking about all along with regards to how you have to replay a lot of the stuff that goes on because there was no Save Anywhere feature. So a lot of the time... Piss balls, bastard fucking tits. Um, yeah, a lot of the time. I'd, I'd like now, you know, I've got to replay all of that again. You don't have to watch it. No one's asking you to watch it, but you can watch it. Whereas, you know, Tomb Raider 2, save it any way you like. So I didn't have to do any of this. There wasn't any of this, you know, trying to perfect your little runs and trying to remember the best way to go about doing stuff and getting away quickly and things like that. I think that's why I like the first one a lot more than the second one. Because of it, because of the fact that you had to replay and replay and sort of keep going and keep going and it got frustrating um, to the point where you're kind of virtually tearing your hair out, having to do stuff all the time. Not just because it's a bit buggy or anything like that or, you know, collision, collision detection and falling back into the water X amount of times. Um, right. Um, yeah. And it made you... Well, it made me very grateful for when I saw a fucking save game crystal. And you kind of cherish those moments where you're like, I can save the game now. I can save the game. Um, can't quite remember how to do this bit, though. I couldn't remember. I thought it was the corner of the ramp where you do a kind of runny jump thing. But I kind of jumped too far because you need to be able to carry on running 
to the to the point where you pick up the momentum. Uh, like that. Right, okay. Uh, let me just double check now. Check your environment. Make sure there's no balls in ceiling type uh, scenarios that you miss, like I just fucking did. Anyway, secret number two is across there. Ladies and gents, I believe there's also a save game crystal down the bottom. So, I don't think you can get by doing here, but you do have to jump at an angle at a wall that looks like it hasn't got hand grips, but in fact it does have hand grips. Very, very small ones. And then it pans out into an area. So essentially, you're putting your hands on lava, lava cooling down lava rocks, something like that. Um, all the way down to secret number two. Yes, secret number two. Oh, fuck off. What the fuck? Right, okay. I'm going to carry on going. And you're going to keep on fucking watching. Because you're going to see the point I'm trying to make about the fact that you had to keep on. Um... Persevering, I guess, really. With this, you couldn't just, you know, if that was Tomb Raider 2, I could just save at the top and reload it from where I just fell off. Whereas, as this isn't Tomb Raider 2, you've got to keep doing the same thing over and over until you get it right. Which I always thought was quite appealing. However, it does also go on about, you know, when I said about the kind of game design where you have to go to one end of a map to get a key to make your way all the way back to the start again to unlock something to go back you know it's that kind of you know you can make a map four times as big by having to play it four times through well the whole save game thing as well it makes the game last longer you know I completed two minutes of two in the space of a week you know I don't know how many hours I've spent now playing this and recording it but when I actually played it originally I mean Christ I'm telling you it was about six six months worth of you know not knowing I mean all right admittedly I you know I was in a different job then I had more hours to myself wasn't uh whoop, hang on hang on No, don't jump up. Oh, Jesus wept buckets. I wasn't uploading it to YouTube. There was not such a thing as YouTube then. That's kind of why I don't want to do that whole, ooh, let me, let me load up 
some sort of video editor and let me put crazy graphics on it and let me put intros that nobody really sort of cares about and wishes that they actually would finish so you can get to the content. Um, that's my personal opinion. You know, all those people who want to spend their time doing it, that's fine. Good luck. I'm sure you've got great whatever you want out of it, but this is just like me playing, chatting, almost like doing a sort of live stream, but not doing a live stream, if that kind of makes sense. Not f I pressed forward and you went backwards, you stupid person. Right. Try again. Okay, right then. And as you can kind of see then, once you've done it a few times, you can kind of get a bit quicker with it. Not in the air, forward. Thank you. Which I believe is, do they call that a learning curve? Is that, you know, what you do? You kind of learn and remember? Or is learning curve something else? I'm not sure. Either way, like I said, if this was Tomb Raider 2, and chances are, if I'm going to do a Tomb Raider 2, I'm going to want to do them all. And if I can save anywhere I like, I will save anywhere I like. The videos will probably be shorter. You know, well done. You don't have to watch as much. Therefore, I don't talk as much. I don't waffle on as much. That could also be a bit of a bonus. If you're not into that kind of thing. If you're not into that kind of thing, what the hell are you doing watching in the first place? But, yeah, I kind of, as I dropped, I remembered what you've got to do with this one. You've got to kind of do a backwards jump onto um, you got to do a backwards jump onto a sliding forward um, ramp backwards jump onto a sliding forward ramp in order to grab hold of the Wait, hang on. I can't tell how far away from the edge I am now. Might have been a bit too far, that. Right, here goes. Right. Could have gone wrong there. Save. Overwrite game, yes. Awesome, full of meaty goodness. Now then, as you can see, this one has got crumbly tiles. It's got a it's got a swinging blade and a bloody Bernie Ball thing. So, yeah, you're probably going to see me do this a couple of times, unless, of course, I'm extremely lucky and I managed to nail it in one, which is highly doubtful. Yeah. What did I tell you? No, don't, don't walk back. I've left go of the walk button. Is there a delay on these controllers or something? And again. Oh, tits. Ah, right, okay. And there's me thinking. Hmm. Yeah, okay, there's going to be a, a, a Bernie ball that side then, is it? Right. And run. And jump and slice and spike and death. Right. Try 
again. Up. Okay. All right. Managed to do that one. Now then. This one is. I'm not going to stop for a medi park. A medi park. Medi pack. Halfway down. So I'm just going to run. And assume. There we are. Assume I can jump and get it. Maybe that's the Bernie ball one I was thinking of earlier when I said I could jump past it or jump through it. Oh, come on. What the hell? Thank you. Now, what's this one now? Oh, fuck. without a save game as well. Without a save game. Okay, uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. Nothing, no surprises there by the looks of it. Oh, fuck. I remember this one. If I wanted to go back and get the medipack. <laughs> I had to do some sort of stupid gymnastics. Uh, not worth it, really not worth it, especially when I've come this far. Right. Run that way, rotate as the door, yep, yeah, there we are. I remember that one. But what's, which way do I go? What's run this way? Nothing, not even a secret. Okay. I can only assume that this way is going to be... Well, as it looks like a rolly ball, unless it's just bad texturing. And there's a rolly ball up there. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think I'm screwed. Fuck it. Just go for it. Oh, fucking hell. I knew it. I knew it, right? I tell you what, sod it. I'm going to stop it now because I can split the file to uh, to upload better, and I'll get back to where I was and start again.